welcome to the 55th lecture of digital electronics in this lecture we will have a outlook of 4 bit binary adder and subtractor circuit so let me come directly to the point to deal with 4 bit parallel adder It is basically, it is basically a combination of combination of full adders, of full adders. If you are if you are drawing the block diagram of a full adder, you, you have inputs. This full adder. Inputs are A and B. And the outputs you will get it as sum and carry. Okay. Now, this is basically a uh, this is basically a two bit uh, this is basically two bit adder, two bit adder. Or another thing you can say is that A and B, A and B are the two bits which is uh, required to be added. Now, if there are four bits to add, if there are four bits to add, you will have a1, B1, A2, B2, A3, B3, and A4, B4. We have four bits to add. Again, okay. and again, again the carry has to be pro propagated. The carry coming in has to be propagated. Okay. So how to propagate that carry? This the carry of one full adder the carry of one full adder full adder is given us is given us input to next next full adder next full adder okay so if you are having a full adder basically what you have is okay carry uh, you are having a C in also okay so basically A and B are the inputs so if you are having A and B and inputs so here what happens is that it is able to add only two bits. C in is the input carry. So initially C in is zero. Okay. And we are adding the two bits A and B. Okay. So where he where A is the addant and B is the augment. Okay. Now if you have four combinations of that, how to add it or how to connect this full address? That is basically four bit four bit parallel adder. So to draw the block diagram of four bit parallel adder okay. block diagram of block diagram of four bit parallel adder four bit binary four bit binary parallel adder okay. then draw like this you are you are having a full adder stage one full adder one you are having an input carry so initially input uh, input carry you can uh, make it as zero here we will get a1 b1 output is s1 so that is the sum of the first bit so coming into you will get the carry that is c1 that is propagated into fa2 okay that is full adder number two here again you have a2 b2 you will get the sum S2 then carry C2 is propagated to FA3 there you have again A3 and B3 okay. the sum is S3 again that so that carry is propagated say, so propagated to stage 4 so where, where what we have is polar number 4 there you have A4 and B4 the sum is S4 and this is you will get the carry out this is the carry out of you can take it as Z4 so this is the lowest bit or you can take it as LSB and S4 becomes the MSB okay. if there is carry out we can take it separately okay so that is um so here the here the organ bits organ bits are a1 a2 a3 and a4 
and addend bits are addend bits are b1 b2 b3 and b4 to have a simple operation of it let me take the example of adding two four two four bit binary numbers okay so i'm having zero one zero one added to one one zero one okay so initially carry is zero so we get one one or one one or one is zero with a carry one so that carry is propagated to the next stage so so here what you can have is this is Okay, the first bit you can have like this. Okay, so you should read like this. This is a one, a two, a three, a four, added with b one, b two, b three, b four. Okay, and in between you are um uh, in between you are uh, propagating the carry. So one or uh, one plus one is zero with the carry one. One plus zero, so you get one. 1 plus 1 is 0 with a carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 0 with a carry 1. Okay. So here what you can have this is S1, S2, S3, and S4. And carry out is there, so you get 1. So you can take this as Z4. Okay. And this this and uh, uh, this one. This one is basically C1. And this is basically this this one is basically C3. And the last one is basically C4. Okay, so that is the basic. So that is the basic operation of this four-bit, four-bit binary parallel order. Because here, here, we, here you are doing it bit by bit. Okay, but then here what happens is that if you are adding A1 and B1, if there is carry, that carry will propagate to propagate to here. And here, if there is again carry, it will propagate as C2. Again, here we get C3. If there is carry, it will propagate as C4. Okay, so I think you got the logic of four-bit binary parallel order. Now, if you are thinking of a n-bit, n-bit binary parallel order, n-bit binary parallel order, okay, you can draw like this. And having F A one, F A two, full order number two, full order three. Flower 4, etc. We will go to end the stage. F A N. So here what we have is A1, B1, uh, C in. Here we will get S1, C1. This is A2, B2, S2, C2. This is A. Uh, say three B three S three this is C three this is A four B four S four etc. Here what you get is C N minus one C N minus one here we have is N B N this is S N and the output will be C out or C N. So this is the basic block diagram of a n-bit binary parallel adder. So if you so this is basically the the logic diagram of the n-bit parallel uh, binary parallel adder where MSB is S1 and and sorry LSB LSB is S1 and MSB MS and MSB is MSB is it can be SN or CN. Okay. So that is a so that is a basic operation of n-bit binary parallel adder okay i have already explained the logic of this four bit binary, uh, binary parallel adder and here what we can get is that s1 s1 is you s1 is the sum of full order so what do you get is that a1 s1 b1 s1 c and uh, c1 what is c1 basically c1 basically is according to the um, carry of carry of full order one carry of full order 1 ok so that is the basic operation of this full order as well uh, this um, n bit binary uh, 4 bit binary parallel adder ok 
So we can have expressions for S1, C1, C2, C3, etc. That is basically the expression of expression of sum and carry sum and carry of full order only. So coming into next one, next one is full subtractor, four bit binary, what will be only parallel full subtractor, full subtractor. See, subtractor it is basically a minus b. So here what we have to do is we have to add a to two's complement of b. If you are going for two's complement addition, you can go with two's complement of b. So that means you can get this a plus two's complement of b. Okay. So how to get this two's complement? Two's complement is two's complement of b. of b is equal to one's complement of b and adding it to one now if you are uh, if you are generating a circuit here what you can have is you can add it to one but here i am uh, here i am going to draw a so four bit parallel binary full subtractor using this uh, one's complement form so what is this one's complement form one's complement means you have to take the one's complement of b and add it or directly what you can say is that if you are you, you can add this a and b the provided uh, uh, add this a and b provided that in uh, provided that one of the inputs to the full order should be complement of b that means it should be like this if you are having a single stage of full order a should be one input and b should be complemented and given again what we have is c in here what we have is b here we will get the sum and here we will get the c out carry okay so this is basically a one's complement one's complement subtractor one's complement subtractor okay now if you are if you are drawing and uh, if you are able to draw a, um, a four bit four bit binary or parallel binary parallel subtractor we can draw like this it is a uh, this it is pretty direct it is similar to this uh, uh, four bit binary uh, binary parallel adder so you have fa1 fa2 fa3 fa4 okay so a this is a1 B1 you will have a NOR gate, sorry NOT gate, this is A2 and again B2 with a NOT gate, this is A3, then B3 with a NOT gate, then A4, then B4 with a NOT gate, okay. so here, here, here we are having input carry, this is S1. So carry will go in here. So carry one, C1, C2, C3. Here we get does C4. Okay. So you get the uh, here we get S1, S2, S3, and S4 and C4. Of course, here S1 is the difference of S1 is the difference of uh, difference of A1 and B1. Similarly, S2 is the difference of A2 and B2, and S3 is the difference of B3 and A3. Okay, and that two in one's complement form. That two in one's complement form, and if you are adding one to that, you will get in two's complement form. Okay, so this is basically the structure of a four bit by binary parallel subtractor. If you are having, if you are, you, you can draw it for n stages also. If it is n bit, you can have you can have n stages of full address. Okay, so. This lecture was a brief about uh, this um, block diagram of this um, uh, four bit binary parallel adder, how it operates based on this full adder, so how the carry is getting propagated, and a basic block diagram of four bit binary parallel adder. And after that, we, we have went with this four bit, uh, four bit full, full subtractor, how, how is it operating? Okay, now b b this, is the, this is the basic operation. 
if you are going into number system of adding this is the this is the basic operation of this for bit binary parallel adder and i have drawn i have shown the n bit n bit binary parallel adder and for bit binary parallel subtractor okay so in the next lecture we'll have carry look ahead adder and with that we are ending with module 2 thank you